Hey guys, what's going on? Cody from Matt Vapes Easily here, and I've got a new video for you today on a new device that we just got in. It is a pod style device. Um, it is from a company called Soren, and it is called the Soren Drop. So this is basically, like I said, a pod style device. We're just going to break this open, throw some juice in it, see how she do, and based off of that, I might be making a purchase today. So I've got some Dragon Thaw right here too. I'm gonna be buying this today as well. Uh, shout out to Salt Salts, but uh, I keep losing my bottle, so this will be the third bottle that I have that is probably gonna be half empty and then get lost again. Um, so here's the device. It is literally really thin and weird looking. <laughs> it looks like a drop. Um, it's definitely not gonna. Ah, oh, it does sit up. What do you know here? Just to make sure the camera doesn't play tricks on you. Bam! That thing's sitting up. But I bet if you slap the table hard, it's, yeah, yeah, it'll fall. Um, so also down in this box is a USB cable, and then in this little insert right here, I would assume they'd give us ah free literature. So free literature and a FQC certificate from Soren. I'm really surprised they didn't give us another pod. Um, and then this little charger with the flat cable on it, so that's pretty cool. So your guess is as good as mine with this, uh, with how to fill this up and everything. So I'm gonna figure it out real fast. Um, please let the cartridge stand for five to eight minutes after refilling juice in. I'm not going to wait five to eight minutes, but all right. Um, hold up. All right, <coughs> so I'm pretty sure you pull this little pack out here, and then it says, take away. Can you read that? Can you see it? Take away. So we're going to take this away. Cool. So then it looks like we're going to pull this little rubber thing up right here. Oh uh, yeah, that's what you do. So then you pull their little rubber thing up. And I think you gotta fill up each side individually, but we're gonna find out. So we're gonna take this dragon thaw here. And we are gonna fill up this and see if it fills the entire... Oh no, so you gotta fill up each side. That's cray cray. Alright, so we got that one full. I'm gonna go to the other side. We got that one full, and we're going to let it sit for a minute. All right, so I've let it sit for about four minutes or so. I just started pulling on it because I was getting anxious and wanted to try it, um, and I burnt the goodness out of it. So I let it sit for a little bit longer, and it seems like it's good to go, so we're going to take some rips off of it see how I do. Well, it's wicking pretty well. Didn't get any dry hits or anything out of it. Um, it definitely doesn't hit as hard as the Breeze. I still like it due to the size of it. I think that's pretty cool how small it is. Um, the battery is still pretty large in it too. So I think it'll last a hot minute. But um, I don't know if I showed you the pack or not, but there's the entire pack. And then it looks like it just connects in there. There's no button or anything. It's just got this little Soren logo. I don't know what that does. It's making a noise though. Um, no indicator to tell you it's on or firing. I guess it's just kind of like um, it's got like a dead life or something. I don't know how to describe it. Like it's it's on, but it's not on on. I'm trying. But it doesn't hit too bad with that solid salts in it. Um, overall, I think it's a really good starter kit. Um, it's definitely something easy to carry in your pocket. It's got a little bit of weight to it, so you'll know it's in your pocket. Um, and I kind of like that about it. But that's really what I got for you. If you have any questions about the Soren Drop or anything else for that matter, feel free to leave them in the comments below and be sure to get back to you, all right? Peace.